You're still watching Ways now. It's National Escargot Day. Let's go out and eat some snails. It's considered a delicacy by some. For many, the thought of feasting on snails is just too yucky. Now, the approved way of celebrating National Escargot Day is by eating a plate of snails. For those who can't bring themselves and their stomachs to the table, we suggest you give Escargot gift certific um, certificates to friends and family. Yummy. <laughs> That's a way with the chop snail. Right? We love snails. Pet, pet, no, I can't eat this one that is on the screen. No, I'm sorry. Snails are very, very healthy. And very healthy. Uh, and it tastes, the taste is um, different from mm. the usual beef and fish. Yeah. And it also, it's actually, so it's, it's not adding calories, it's not adding nothing and it, all of that. And, and it's, it's easy to chew. Oh, no, if my mom makes <laughs> pepper snail for you, oh God, you will wow. bite your finger. Wow. No, we know how to make pepper. I know in Benin, we have those we big love, ones. We just love I, it. I remember my uncles, like I don't get it. My mm. uncles, they will travel all the way from the U.S. Mm chatter boxes of snails. snails. So my mom Back. will pepper them. No, <laughs> they will pepper it. Then mm. bag them in their ziplocks. Come and Ooh. see them carrying batches of snails back wow. to the US. So imagine <laughs> all year round. It. They'll put it in the freezer, so they just keep bringing it out, drinking yes. it to their jebu <laughs> But snails are delicacies. But it some is. people actually, I, my sister-in-law, um, Jumai, she's actually, um, what's Allergic it to it? Yeah, no, she, yeah, what's the word? Is it allergy? Yeah. She, allergic yeah, to she, it. Yeah, she's allergic to it. So oh, really? She reacts when she eats, uh, if, if she, even, even if it's a stew, that snail was inside, she In can't it. nothing. So it's just like somebody who's allergic to nuts. Yeah, she's so very once highly, So it touches yeah. the skin and all that. She's oh, really? Oh, it, wow. Yeah. That's a rare one. She should go for some sort of checkup. No, at least why. she's able to identify what you know, she reacts yes, to. What she's reacting to. So, which is good. so what did you find for us in the news? Hmm. Congratulations to <laughs> our one and only <laughs> Marie Coco. Coco for the birth of her newborn baby. Yeah, we're so, so we happy. So happy. We're ecstatic that she has a Aww. baby. And we, so that's the news for me. And guess what the husband actually said? He said, let me, let, it was so hilarious. Mm. He said, let me remove the other part. And he said, we welcome our baby girl to the world yesterday. Mother and daughter are, and daddy are doing okay. Yes, so. what, what did he do? Uh -uh. What is what did he do? <laughs> Uh -uh. Who put <laughs> the baby there? And he <laughs> said, your boy is officially daddy uh, fans. Daddy. Oh, <laughs> congratulations, Maury. <laughs> so we are so happy for her. We're we can wait for her to come back. So, so everybody has been wondering, ways. where is Maury? Where is Maury? Now oh, you know. Now you know. Maury <laughs> has been busy cooking something and she has brought a pr beautiful princess to the world. To the world. And Absolutely. I pray for health for her mm. and her baby. Mm -hmm. And you know, she always says that anybody that knows and knows that she loves the Ramadan season. You know, Absolutely. she loves the season. So I'm, I'm so sure she's, I'm sure she's super excited that she's that having baby the baby. That baby came that, yeah, this period. Season, it's yeah, so, so amazing. Congratulations, Double Marie. blessings. Yeah. All right. So my story is quite interesting. I, I decided to pick this story because of the topic we're talking about today. Now, Bauchi State Government says it's going to it's spending about four thousand five hundred per meal on COVID nineteen patients. Now. So this is according to the Bauchi State Primary Healthcare Development Agency. And um, um, he says the chairman of that agency, that's Dr. Riwani Muhammad, says he spends about 1,005 per meal. So in total per day, he spends about 4,500. And he disclosed this during an interview um, in Bauchi there, when, okay. when there was a press interview or something like that. So for me, I'm wondering, I know Bauchi, I know because I've lived all my life, all north. my young life in the north, Kaduna State precisely. Mm. Things, food in the north is one of the cheapest. I mean, exactly. this 1,005. And beef. Listen, this 1,005 that he's talking about can actually feed a family of five. Wow. In the north. You know, complete like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, you know, when we're talking about budgets, planning, mm. accountability, you know, I would really, really, really love to bring things like this, you know, to the, to the fore, fore, to ask our uh, guests, because when he said that, I was wondering, come on, Bauchi is not the kind of place where things are like expensive. in Lagos, where things are expensive. What kinds of meal are you giving, you know, uh, what, what, um, 
uh, what exactly makes what are the up, content yes, of what the makes meal? up what makes a thousand five hundred naira per per meal, per meal. then four thousand five per person. And how many days are you planning? And is that even a sustainable budget? You know, hmm. is that a sustainable meal plan? It doesn't make any sense when we're trying to say that we're trying to cut down budget and all of that. Exactly. So we, we, we have an interesting show today and we're hoping that we'll be able to cover a lot, you know, and, <laughs> and talk to our guests. Absolutely. All right, so that's what's in, uh, what's in the news for today. Olushie and Onigbinde will join us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.